back and I'm excited because we are in the kitchen with one of our favorite guests, Carlene King of Carmai Soul Food Restaurant on the South Side. She's here to help us when cooking for a crowd. Mm, whether it's a graduation party or just a summer cookout, it's difficult to enjoy yourself while you're making all the food. Carlene, please help us. <laughs> well, I have some help for you. I have some okay. tips for you. So okay. we are going to please a crowd of about 16 people or more in less than an hour. That's less than an hour a day over four days. So okay. you want to you. It's a process. You want to plan. Okay. So mm -hmm. the first day, what you want to do is you want to get on your Amazon or however you do your ordering, and you want to order your paper supplies. You do your cups, your plates, your napkins. Mm -hmm. And those are really cute. Those oh, were so cute. cute. Cookout grilling theme. and chilling. I thought that was so <laughs> cute. So like, so you get those things done. They're they're at the house. They're waiting for you. There's nothing you need to do. Right. Mm -hmm. So three days out, you want to go and get your liquor and your beer. Day three, that's really important. <laughs> Someone should put this near me. It's the essential yes. day. Okay, all right. So day two, two days before, which you just want to go to the grocery store. So we're using some grocery store shortcuts. Okay, okay. I so like shortcuts. We are, yes, we're going to buy some rotisserie chicken. A rotisserie mm -hmm. chicken, if you quarter it, that's four people. It's about five bucks, depending on where you get it from. Mm -hmm. You're going to get it, chill it. Um, you're also going to get your ribs. Get them pre-seasoned. It's not much more, and they're marinated already. That's smart. Yeah. Okay. So Save that's time. day two. You're getting all your ingredients. We're going to um, then uh, make on the day before. We're going to make your potato salad. These are the things you got. Okay. So, now that's what I'm in charge of. The potato right. salad. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but before we do that, I just mm -hmm. want to quickly. So, with the rotisserie chicken, we're going to quarter it the day of, and mm -hmm. we're going to actually smoke it on the grill as your guests are arriving. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's get that potato salad in there, Miss okay. Mikey. Let's see. So now, what do I, I, I do with this? I love you're making it simple. Do I just yeah. put it right in, in here? This, in okay. the big container. <laughs> yeah. Put the potato salad in the frying pan. You see how this often is, I cook. This is why we're not in charge of this, <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> and this is All just right. store okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's and I'm sure it's not bad. It's just not really great. No. Yeah, I mean, so you're going to raise it up. That's not bad. Not, not too much sugar. That's what I always look at. The oh, sugar. really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going right. to add more. Okay. More <laughs> so we got about half a dozen to eight eggs. Depending okay. on how many you like. So you just pour throw these those in, in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. David, right by you, you have mm -hmm. what we call um, a trio in Southern cooking or a Creole mix. That mm -hmm. Celery and peppers, green peppers and red peppers. So, okay. so we're going to throw that in as throw well. And you just buy that stirring. pre cut mm -hmm. and you don't have and to do all the work. Right, that's yeah. about half of it should be plenty. About yeah. half. Okay. Yep, that's it. Whew. Okay. This is hard work. This is going to You'll get it. We're going to, I like a lot of relish. Oh, it kicks it up. It yeah. does quarter yeah. cup of relish. Do you oh, that's use a great sweet idea. relish? Is it uh -huh. sweet? Definitely okay. sweet relish. And this is going to help get you going a little smooth there. We're going to put some mustard in there. Oh, yeah. This looks great already. It does. Yeah. It's I'm, getting better, right? <laughs> right? I'm making a mess, but no, I'm no, sure no, you're doing, doing it. well, really Mikey. Good. You're doing well. That was well. a little salt, a little pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Messy is good. I, I, I kind of yeah. set you up with that small bowl. Well, I'm sorry I, about I, that. Okay. I love how you're making it your own. Like, you, you're really you, putting you your really stamp on it. You have to make it own. Yeah. And this is our secret little thing. We um salad supreme in a potato salad. Oh. Wait, 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 so what is this called? That's salad, salad Supreme. Supreme. You buy it. And then Linguine. Mm -hmm. It's in Linguine a lot. Uh, yeah. Or a pasta salad. But oh, it's also great, great in potato salad. Idea. So you see we're getting nice color, texture. Wait till you taste it. Okay. Right. So let's do our beans. Baked beans, my favorite. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. I'm just going to put my We're starting with butter. butter. Oh, okay. in the that's meat. a lot of butter there. You, butter makes everything better. <laughs> butter does. <laughs> Carlene speaks the truth. <laughs> and again, in the vegetables that we purchased at the grocery store, being yeah. chopped, we're going to get in. Oh, we're going to get in some onion. Okay. And green pepper. So we don't need celery in the beans. So we're going to just onions and green pepper. That smell already. I mean, I'm smelling that butter. <laughs> Nothing it's better than sizzling butter. <laughs> So you just want to saute those down. So let me talk a little bit about the beans. We're using a mm -hmm. four bean mix. Okay. So I like color and variety. So mm -hmm. we have sure. in here, we have pinto beans, white kidney beans. We have uh, black beans and also pork and beans. Oh. So those are four bean mix. pork mixture. and beans is a surprise to me. Right. Mm -hmm. So, well, you well, actually, these are, I think these are baked beans. I was avoiding the pork baked, today. Baked beans, right? okay. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. if you want it to add, like, if you want to start, you can start by sauteing bacon, hot sausage, ground beef, any meat that you like. Like, okay. hot sausage is my personal favorite in uh, beans, but right now we're going to do, like, kind of a vegetarian style. Okay. So you saute that out. You want to drain all of your beans except for your baked beans. Okay. You don't want to rinse them, just drain them. Okay. Once this is sauteed, you add that in. You add in your baked beans. Oh. 
Oh yeah. And do you do this the the day of? This is the day of. This is day, day of. Day okay. of. So this is the one hour things with the day of. Mm -hmm. So you're doing that the day before the potato salad. Okay. So now we're on the day of, um, and we are making our baked beans. We're adding my secret also a whole can of tomato soup. Oh, oh I not love tomato paste. Secrets. Tomato, tomato soup. soup. Tomato soup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Condensed tomato soup. soup. Okay. Um, some mustard. Mm-hmm. Mustard and everything. Mustard, I love well, mustard. Good. I love mustard too. Oh, that's the mustard. For that's that the mustard. For okay. That. Okay. <laughs> and we're adding some uh, green. Um, this is a little uh, sugar. Sugar. A little okay. Sugar. But I see the. And I, see I see the brown, brown sugar. sugar. The brown yes. sugar. Yeah, oh, just that whole thing it. goes yeah. in there. Well, <laughs> look, no. not messing around so when it comes to butter and brown it. sugar. <laughs> You want to just mix this up and get it started, and then mm -hmm. you can put it in the oven. I love to put it in the oven in a cast iron skillet. Oh, you, so you just put this whole thing in the oven as well. Perfect. This just goes in the, in the oven. Thing. That's easy. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, we so, have about a minute left mm -hmm. to talk about what's over here. Yeah. Okay, what's over here is my favorite. So we are going to make a Jamaican watermelon rum punch. Okay, cool. So we have two, a dark and a light rum. Get okay. that in. All right. All right, David, you're in charge of this. Right. That. Now, do, do I have to? Uh, do right the, do right I measure? <laughs> right of in the picture. Not. All right, tell me when. Tell me how you like it. To measure. Well, I keep going. Keep, oh. keep going. There you go. All right. Perfect. Now let's do the white. Do all right. Yeah. We're doing the white rum too. Okay. Now, is this similar to the drink I've had at your restaurant, Carlene? We oh. don't have a Jamaican rum punch, but we do have a lot that are very similar to this. I'll pour this one. Yeah, and this, and is, this is just a watermelon syrup. syrup. We want to kind of go light on yeah, that. Yeah, that we don't want to use. Okay, the whole thing. and that's probably enough. Okay. And then how much of the pineapple juice? Fill it on up, because we kind of got a lot of rum in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. For the whole bottle. <laughs> oh, so very quickly. So the day before, um, grilling the ribs, um, mm -hmm. a, a half hour on each side. Mm -hmm. The day of, you want to put it in the oven, covered in pineapple juice again. Oh. For about an hour to steam. Okay. So when your guests arrive, at that time, you put the already cooked ribs mm -hmm. and the already cooked chicken onto the grill with sauce just to caramelize. This makes it so that, easy. They think yeah. you're slaved. Throw a little flour on your face, <laughs> and you're good. Ready to go. <laughs> oh, and this is good. This is good. You guided us oh, well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Carlene mm. King, thank you owner for having of Carmai yes. Soul Food, and her husband Mike. It is always great to have both of you with us. The restaurant is right on East Carson Street on the south side.